Angola is the name given to kings in Kambundu language, one of more than 60 languages which can be heard in present-day Angola. Located in the western part of southern Africa, its 5,000 kilometers of land border share frontiers with Congo Brazzaville, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Zambia and Namibia. Following five centuries of Portuguese colonization, Angola became an independent country in 1975 and has retained Portuguese as its official language. The country currently has more than 13 million inhabitants, a very small population if we consider that its area is 1,270,000 square kilometers, twice the size of France. From Cabinda to Cuneni, Angola's 18 provinces offer a vast and diverse landscape for visitors. Its natural wealth, water, oil and mineral resources make Angola one of the African countries with the greatest potential. Luanda, with more than 4 million inhabitants, is the country's capital and administrative and financial center. The city, which was in its day considered the loveliest and most lively on the west coast of Africa, is today beginning to recover the lifestyle which gave it its fame. Luanda was founded in 1575 by the Portuguese captain Paulo Dias Novaes, who disembarked here accompanied by a crew of 700 and established the first center of Portuguese influence. The first city built by Europeans on the west coast of Africa, it soon became an important port, not only for the distribution of products from the interior, but also as a departure point for slaves destined for Brazil or North America. The port of Luanda and its city would attract a wide variety of people and cultures, and this mix would create a truly unique society with its own lifestyle, which can still be seen today. One of the city's most symbolic and recognizable figures is the police officer, ironically named Horacio Ordena. He is the winner of the Portuguese style event in the last three traffic directing contests. His strict and efficient professionalism has made him a perfect example of the order which the city of Luanda seeks to move towards in the future. This is Angola. Preventing and extinguishing is our motto. The best food in Angola is fungi. The prettiest thing in Angola is me. The prettiest thing in Angola isn't her. The prettiest thing in Angola is the people. We're going to fly over Angola.
From the desert, through the savanna, to the lush tropical rainforests, Angola offers the opportunity to see all of the continent's landscapes without leaving this one country. As its natural beauty is unknown to the eyes of the world, we can speak of Africa's best-kept treasure. You only need to travel a short way from the city of Luanda and take in the vista from the viewpoint of the moon to discover this for yourself. One thousand six hundred kilometers of endless beaches are still untouched by tourism. An average temperature of 24 degrees and the infinite caprices of nature make Angola a tourist power eager for investment and visitors. Rural PEAD is a project aimed at the rural community. PEAD, strategic program to support rural development. We speak of support because rural development has extremely broad aspects. An aspect that is linked to several factors. We have the economic factors, social factors, environmental factors. All these factors require visibility for the rural community get life improvements development and have the right conditions for a better economic, social and environmental life. Rural PEAD is part of the concept of invention and innovation. We want to bring with it the intellectual community and the academic community so that together they think about the transformations that can help in the rural development contributing to their innovations and inventions impact within the rural society. Why do we think of rural society immediately? Because in any society of the world, the development begins at the base and the base is the rural zone. We cannot think of the full development of a society without thinking of its basis. 
What is the basis? The basis is the rural community, the intellectual community that can really help to develop the society, must think, must create ideas within what is the basis of the whole society. The rural community, we call on our inventors, our innovators, to begin to reflect what is essential for the development of our society that is there in the countryside. We cannot think about social development without thinking about the initial development of rural communities. The main objective of this project is to call the intellectual community, our inventors and technology innovators to interact with these communities to reflect the main serious problems related to the rural community, seeking the best solutions to these problems creating ideas and technologies that actually help these communities to have better living conditions. Rural PE80 is an interaction project of many actors. We spoke of the first actors, who are inventors and innovators and who cannot work alone, but needs the support of the whole society. Do not work in isolation. We ask the politicians, the businessmen, we ask the intellectual community and the general society must be involved in the solution of the rural problems. This angle and social rural needs to get out of a life that is no longer conducive to the current reality. A more suitable rural society, with a healthier life. A life of self-sustainability. A more dignified life. We call on the sensitivity of all to join the rural PEAD. We would like to call once again the community in general, so that you can give your support to the project. A project that will give a more adequate life to society, provoking its growth. As we have already said, the basis of this evolution has to be the rural society. It is necessary that society in general, create the spirit development of a society, as it begins in the rural of the zone. For Zangolans, this must be a commitment of all. We are here to welcome all those who open their hands to this project that will benefit our country. We believe that whoever hears our message may be sensitized. This is happening, look for us. Give your contribution, united we can overcome this challenge. It's a challenge for all of us. We will contribute as much as we can to the evolution of our Angolan society. We will be grateful to receive your support. We will consolidate what will be the machine to advance our project.